guys in this video i'm going to teach you how to make an initialization file or a set of file from an exe file that you created from your python code guys if you don't know how to convert any kind of python file to an exe file i do have a video on this please click on the i button to get the video guys please like this video and share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so without wasting time let's get started so to make a set of file or uh, initialization file from your executable file or a exe file at first you have to download a software that is nsis so at first you need to open your favorite browser and then you can search for nsis and this press enter and after searching open this link the first one and then after going to this link you need to click on the download and then it will take you it will take you to this page and after a while the download prompt will appear and i'm just going to click on the start download and i guess that it already finished and now i'm going to locate the file to locate the file at first i need to go my user account and then downloads and then the program and as you can see that i have a software called nsis so now we have to install the software to install the software i'm going to open the software after opening the software it's going to ask you for the permission just click yes and then click on next and click on i agree and then click on next and now if you want to change the destination you can change from here to click on the browse but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to stick with the default and just and now i just need to click on install and as you can see that it's installing in the system if you want to run the program you can check here or if you don't want to run we just uncheck here i'm not going to run so i'm just going to click on finish so as you can see that i have an exe file that i made from my python code and now i'm going to make the set of file from this file and also i need to have the support file with the exe file so the exe file can run later so to make the exe file at first we need to select all the files that we need and then we need to make a zip file from here i'm going to click add activer i'm using the winrar but you can use any kind of software and i'm just renaming the file here and then clicking on zip and then clicking on ok and when the operation is done as you can see that we have a file that is library management system as a zip file and then i'm going to click on the start menu and then as recently added we can see that the nsis is installed so i'm just going to open this one and after opening this one under the compiler section we can see that installer based on .zip file we need to click on here and after clicking here we will have a window like this and it's saying that we need to locate our source file so now we need to click on open and then i'm going to locate the source file so this is the source file that i just made i'm just selecting this one and clicking open and after clicking open you can see that all the file is loaded inside the window and then here is some option that you can change the installer name the interface i'm going to take the modern the default uh, the default folder is the path of the installer so if you want to change the output exe file you can change from here for now i'm just going to leave as it is and now we just need to click on generate and after generate it's going to take some time and now you can see that after a while it's completed our operation and we can close this one and we can see that we have a exe file here so this is the set of file that we can take from here 
to another computer that you can copy from this computer to another computer and you can install the software there so to show you I'm just going to open this one my Avast is going to check the file that have some problem or not it's infected or not it's completely safe beautiful as you can see that we have our set of file and now if you want to change the destination folder you can change from here to any place and just you can click on next so to show you I'm just going to make a new folder here and we are going to call it the setup and in this folder I'm going to install this software so after that now I'm going to select the folder this is our folder that we just created the setup folder and then I'm going to click on OK and then just going to click on install and you can see that it's processing all the files and the installation is completed and just going to click on close and now if we check that we have all the files that we included while we created the setup file so that's all about this video guys if you have any question please let me know in the comment below and like this video and share with your friends and subscribe to my channel right now if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video